Mispa TV, TV keeping the fire of the altar burning Kazuka sheka tari ya radina Yeko zoka pura zeke telagaya Now let every Let every man of God Here listen to this And uh, uh, I being one of you um, One of the greatest secrets in life And ministry for the few years We have been serving God Is never forget the first words that God spoke to you when he called you. God does not speak the past. God does not speak your situation. God speaks your destiny and your future. So that's my first word for new birth. The bathing place. Sometimes even if your child, especially for mothers who are here, goes to an extent of being like this gentleman who was called Wanoko, those kind of things. For a mother, the pain of birth is what makes a mother a mother. When you feel like this is too much for this son, I cannot accept it again. But when you remember the pain and nine month of disturbance, you hold on. That's why even, even that man had a mother and the pastor of the mother to bury him. Everybody knew him as a criminal, but the one who bore the pain of birth knew him as a son. Every calling has a pain of birth. And that's what keeps us. Even when we are stricken to the end. For God is faithful. And I want to say this to every member of New Birth. Starting with God's servant. And Pastor Irene. Remember. The birth pains of this ministry the sacrifice the discomfort for those 18 years and the next 18 years to come and 50 and 100 years to come if Jesus tarries there are children not born yet that will be dedicated on this altar here or any other place So I choose the pain and leave my future. Now let's lift our hands to the Lord. I, I, don't, I don't want us to start that way, but uh, I am very obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And um, Shekata, just come, Apostle and Pastor Irene, just come. Shekatoria zeteli bazonta libo shakata ya rabagaba. It's not time for prayer, but I just feel just, just, just keep on cribing these these altar stairs in the name of the Lord. One of you on this side, and there, just move slowly and pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Just move mommy back. Pray in tongues. This is a prophetic thing. Just pray in tongues. Everybody else, lift your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Mazoka tora bazela bagaya rigazida, ropa zakosha kete rigazaya, reze kete rigaza. This is the word of the Lord for every pastor, beginning with myself and every minister of the gospel. This is what the Lord is saying to us: When you are focused, you don't look at the step that you have already left. You look at the next step, and the next step, and there is another step. You may not be able to move this way. But if the steps are higher, but there is still another step, and there is still another step, 
and there is still another step i pray in the name of jesus every minister of the gospel that is going through a season of pain a season of for being forsaken a season of being ignored a season of being forgotten i came all the way to speak to somebody and to decree in the name of jesus the son of the living god keep your eyes on the one that called you he is faithful he will not allow you to go through the pain and allow you to go the rejection go through the time of suffering only to forsake you on the way i decree whether it takes 40 years we will still enter the promised land whether it takes 400 years the prophecy of abraham will still come to pass even if there is an extra 30 years the promise of abraham and the prophecy shall come to pass even if there are 70 years the word of the lord will still come to pass in the name of the lord lift your hand and begin to worship the lord everybody and especially every minister of the gospel begin to worship the lord begin to worship the lord begin to worship him worship him worship him jeremiah 29 verse 11 message bible mazakato sheketeria jeremiah 29 verse 11 message bible mazuka Zeta Ragazoko Sheketela Ragazaya To Zinama Rekasokataya Regazahatelaba Ropa Gazakato Shikita Ragazo Sheketela Mazaya. Now listen, 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 listen. What you are going through is not as important as what God is doing in you. You may not like the circumstances, but what God is doing in you is greater than what you are going through. So listen, this is the word of the Lord. For I know this was the, uh, the issues of the 70 years that uh, you go to Babylon for 70 years, then after 70 years are over, I'll come. So God says, I have not forgotten the promise. I have not forgotten the prophecy. I know what I am doing. I have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you. Not to abandon you. Plans to give you future. You hope for. Let's lift our hands to the Lord. And commit God's servants. Thank you sir. You can come. Masoka talabaga sheketela. Robaga zeka sheketela. And new birth. In the name of the Lord, I know we'll have to do more prophetic actions on Sunday. But for today, let's, let's just thank God. Let's give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Don't clap. Just lift your hands and tell him thank you. Appreciate him. Appreciate him for the fire you have brought us. Appreciate him for the grace. Appreciate him for all that he have done. To him alone be praise. To him alone be glory. To him alone be honor. To him alone be all the adoration. There is none like him. He is worthy our praise. Worthy, 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 worthy our praise. In the name of Jesus, we give thanks. And somebody say, Amen. Now we can put our hands together for him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Better, 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 better for Jesus. He is worthy all our praise. Worthy, 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 worthy all our praise. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Apostle and Pastor Irene, we are forever grateful. Me and my wife and uh, the family in Zion City, we are forever grateful for the honor, the grace, the relationship, and the work the Lord has given us to work together. We are forever grateful to the Lord. And we thank God for what God is doing in your life and uh, the life of your wonderful beautiful wife pastor irene and the grace that is working at her in the name of the lord and we thank you for every other god servant to have come to god be the glory please we may have our seats in the presence of the lord amen and amen all right somebody said we don't finish speaking we stop speaking so that's why it's always important to be told when to start and when to stop. Yes, so 
So I would really appreciate if I get that note uh, for the purposes of uh, dealing with the challenges of the city. You know, we call our city by faith. Just hope that one day it will be a real city. So when I get that, I'll be appreciate and we thank God. So Apostle, we just want to thank you so much uh, and bless you and Pastor Irene. And uh, so one of these days when I'll come when he's not there, you'll be the one to receive. <laughs> but now you may not receive because your apostle and your bishop is around. <laughs> it's okay. But we bless the Lord and we thank God for you. So uh, one of the issues I keep on saying is that uh, I thank the Lord that wherever you go to minister, there is a man that keeps the fire on that altar. And... Uh, it was also not, uh, you know, a right to be invited. For somebody to entrust you with the labor, he is laboring, it, it takes the hand of God. So we honor you, we and my family. May the Lord bless you. And Pastor Irene, just hold. May the Lord bless you so much. It is well. All right. Thank you. Um, you know, it's very important to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Um, yesterday I was telling Apostle, I kept on SMSing him whether you're online um, because Friday, Thursday is normally a very tough day for us in our place, we do a day of prayer and uh, pastoral day and we have a service, we call the supernatural service, one of the best in our great global service that God have given unto us, so, uh, so I kept on and I wanted to listen to Bishop Karaoke even today I had to call him and tell him you can't leave before you tell me what you preached so that I, I start where you have stopped and so that I don't speak things that are different from what you have spoken uh, so he told me start anywhere wherever you start so I kept on and uh, I thought I need to do that but, so, but when I was coming today I felt in my spirit that uh, um, you know I've been to Mispa and other places and I felt in my spirit that uh, so when I came at the roundabout at the railway, is it called the railway? The roundabout, I don't know how you call it. And then I felt in my spirit, I need to call Dr. Emily. <laughs> I just felt in my spirit, I remembered those many old days. And I felt almost tears in my eyes when I remembered that. Uh, she is the person who entrusted me with a pulpit in this city for the first time. And, uh, well, we kept on growing. You know, even I met a lady who works with MBCI, uh, who has been a great blessing to our program in the MBCI. She told me that I gave her a word in Bethany. I asked her, did I know how to give a word those days? I say, I, it's better for you to say I said something. So even when I met God's servant and he said how I spoke, I, I was trying to figure out, you know, what I, would, I used to say that particular time. But somebody was patient enough to keep me a whole week, Monday to Friday. Not once, not twice, not five times. Yeah, it's actually more than more than that and so and i just felt in my spirit that uh, i need to call her so and i called her so and i told her is pastor paul so she said prophet so and we talked uh, so i told her that uh, i'll organize the apostle to take me to see her but she said i'm coming so i didn't know whether she said she's coming or what she said so i was so grateful to the lord when i have now realized that she's here because Eva had not called. Tell your neighbor, trust the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I would have started first with the repentance. Yeah, because you see, it could have been very sad for me to, you know, to come and preach. And uh, then I find her here and she had not called her. I don't think that is the right thing. So, but we thank God and all the God servants that have, have been watching and we give all the glory to God. My seed of honor is there. I will organize uh, to get you to you before I leave here. I think I had mentioned that to you and that will be a blessing and we give all the glory to God. Amen. Uh, 
Praise the Lord. So let's share God's word. And I appreciate God's servant, uh, Dr. Patrick Karyuki, uh, for laboring for those two days. Um, and um, it's not something that I take lightly. Uh, I was telling him, I think there is something very powerful God wants to do with us. I told her again, we were with him in Kayole the other day. I said, the, that time I'm the one who preached and traveled out to the country. Now I, you are the one who are preaching. And uh, uh, then I'll follow. And we thank God. So I have three things I want to bring to our attention tonight. And I just pray that the Lord God Almighty will help us just to ride on the grace of what has been going on. I want to begin by sharing on what I'm calling the triggers of divine help. The triggers of divine help. I may take a different direction on a few things, but I want us to be very, very, very attentive. Apostle Moses, I think it's important for you to know, and all the people that are close to you, your friends, even in this city, I think it should be now creek in your spirit more than any other time that uh, you have a special ministry for God's servants. Yes, because I don't think all these servants of God are here just purely for the purpose of coming to encourage you. There is something in you. And we, as I have always told you, I will pray for you and I'll keep on praying for you so that that which God have deposited in you will benefit us and many other generations to come. So it's good to build on that. And that's why I think it's also going to be very important for us to consider several things as we move on. But I will share some of those things before I leave which are very, very important. At times, it's good to be having like the way you go to other cities and you have all the servants of God gathered together and whatever. There should be meeting for new birth and there should be meeting for on a mandate. For the sake of all of us, because unless somebody who really doesn't know, God said clearly that the honor mandate is a, a preparation for a move of God. Now, everybody's talking about the move of God now. The other day, I got a big challenge, and I'm saying this. I've seen, uh, I've seen this God servant for many years. I've come here. Um, yes. I've seen him so many times, and of course, Dr. Emily is here, and all the apostles, and uh, Pastor Joe, and all the other servants of God were here. And I have been asking myself a question Is there a vacuum in Kenya? In the spirit? That's a question we need to ask ourselves. Yeah. Or is it something that is lacking in this country? Because I don't think this issue of uh, all these, our wonderful servants of God that we honor so much, keep on coming to Kenya every time and every time. And then you find that somebody may be there. Thank God for people like Apostle Kimani and the rest. But you find that somebody is there but you find the impact of that person who is there compared to the one who has come in his soil is not as great as that person. If that person would move to the country of this visiting preacher, it will have a challenge for him to gather what he have gathered. Is it something we missed 20 years ago? Is this something we missed 50 years ago? Because at times it's good to look at the reality. I went somewhere and uh, I told a few servants of God that we relate to it. And I told them, I have left this meeting grieved. Because if this is all we can do as a nation, there is still some things to break in this country. When the body of Christ, for example, like Nanyuki, we gathered for the Thanksgiving prayer. You also did in Akuru here. Uh, it was done in Nairobi on Tuesday. I was there. It was done in other counties. When we all gather from the fathers to the young generation that is coming up, and then we find that a meeting would end naturally. Then you see everyone that continued to come, for example, like now the, the, the Tuesday meeting where we were in Nyao Stadium, then on Wednesdays when the meeting of God's servant, the apostle was starting. And then you look at even the whatever, and those are the kind of things. Then there, there's somebody else who is actually coming after this month. There's another one coming in June. There's another one coming in August in this country. 
I pray in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. If there is anything that we missed, my prayer and my cry, we will not leave that gap to the next generation. Did you hear what I've just said? We must now tell the Lord. We must tell the Lord. Because you see, God does not like vacuum. You see, you know, um, somebody may have labored in the ministry for 40 years. You don't expect that person to have the energy and the strength to fast 40 days the way they used to fast 40 years ago. But there must be another generation that will rise up and get to that particular generation with a higher power. That's why we say the old and the new must come together. That means there should be no way that this generation of God's servant, just stand up, of this generation, of this servant of the Lord, who is younger than us and younger than even King Apostle, and those are the kind of things, there is no way he should try to modernize the gospel. Because if you bring the new without the old, you will be flawed by the gods of, I mean by the altars of your father. That's why Jesus said, bring the two, the, the one I'll ride on and the other one. Very, very important. So as much as you have the technology, as much as you have the apps, as much as you have the, the, the affluence and the many things you have, and we can construct grammar, we must realize that demons in the land don't listen to grammar. You, you come with the grammar, but you need the power of your fathers. You need the, the tenacity of your fathers. You need, the, you need the, the force of your fathers. Where they could not speak English, but they stood up. And when they entered a meeting, like the, the, the late Reverend Mwangi of Blessed Memory, who have got to be the Lord of full gospel, he didn't shout, he didn't jack, he didn't even hold the mic the way I'm holding they would stand on the pulpit. They didn't even know how to match suits. They didn't even know how to. They never saw the, the things we saw today. But they will enter into a stadium. And as they stand on the pulpit. Because the man has come from the Lord. He has come from the presence of the Lord. He has met God. So as he comes. Every sickness in that whole stadium. Will begin to evaporate. Now when the sun will come. Or the grass sun. He can have the affluence. He can be a CEO. He can be a doctor. He can be a lawyer. But he need to know there was a secret of the father. That the father knew that he need to add to. So when he comes with the grammar. He comes with the money. He comes with the pulpit. He comes with the sound. He comes with everything. He must not forget the old and the new. So when he comes to his generation. What will make a difference between him and a lawyer who is only using organization is what he learned from the father, is what he picked from the father. Karosha Katela, Rozo Koto Sheketeria, Ragaba Seketela. There is no lion of 2019th century and a lion of 21st century. Kayatora. There is no lion of, of 18th century and a lion of 22nd century. If it will come, a lion should be a lion. You carry the nature of a lion. You may have some technology. You may have some a chopper landing there. You can come with 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 a best car. You can come with a latest shooter, but you are still a lion. When you roar, it is not your car roaring. It is the spirit of a lion that is in you. Masoka tire. May we develop an anger. If we don't develop an anger, we'll be, we'll, we will be lying to ourselves. That's why you see somebody comes, for example, like now you would come to Kenya or somebody comes to your city, then everybody else will follow that person. Why? Because he brought something that they have not tested. Because if people will taste the best wine and they will ask, where was this? They will follow that 
Dwayne. I came to decree and to declare. May we have ministers that compliment her. When we come to Kenya, for example, they are fathers of international level. They are people that have broken limitation. They go to Nigeria. There is a standstill in the land of Nigeria because of the impact it carries. They go to America. Even the president of America give them audience because that is the level that is where Kina Bishop Wangare were. That is where other servants of God were. They would land in an airport and people would begin to ask them where are you coming from because of what they carried. Those are people that even the president would fear them to lay hands on them. Ladies and gentlemen, I came to announce to us in the name of the law, no matter the price to pay, somebody must rise up and pay the price. Did you hear what I've just said? I pray in the name of the law. What to me shua mungu is waifika wakati watoto wetu na wajuku wetu watakosa the mana ya madabahu yetu wakatafuta madabahu mengine kwa sababu kani to repata the grammar us but we left the power that moves things in the spirit I pray for you as I pray for myself may God have mercy over this land I say may God have mercy over this land we have a window of opportunity we have been allowed to speak in tongues anywhere we have been allowed to preach oh Jesus just remind me pastor your name Bishop Turi let's not waste sir please to see why go there if it can mahali kuta inuka mutu aweke sheria like you know now nigeria is at the fudge nigeria is at the most critical fudge of their destiny with all the mighty giants let me tell you the truth and god forbid if we have the muslims and those kind of people like the ones in nigeria i don't know whether the church of kenya can stand we we, we have been so micro microwaved we are so microwaved we, we are so frail so frail so frail so frail anything small shakes us but look at the people with all the generals in a papa and the rest nigeria is too pressing i pray they are not going to miss this particular time because there is an agenda there is an agenda over your children there is an agenda over our children there is an agenda over our cities marusa keketela gazaya rosa katela gayate rigazokata today write a negative thing about church on the internet the people that are there people are developing an anti-church spirit when we are still calling ourselves a christian nation we must raise a new breed of people a new generation of people people that are going to say enough is enough may we raise our people in the name of the law that the day sir you step in zambia there will be a commotion at the airport including the police who are there they don't know you they will be asking you as sir uh, who are you? What do you carry? Pray for me. I feel that he, I, I don't want to come closer to you because of what you carry. I came to speak to somebody. Let us go back uh, to the place of power. Let us go back uh, to the place of manifestation. Uh, let us go back uh, to the place uh, of affecting territories. Uh, let us go back uh, to the place of commanding authority in the realm of the spirit. Uh, it doesn't matter how many people like you those who don't like you it's not a time of trading it's a time of truth people may reject you we don't serve a god of multitude we serve a god of truth elijah was alone on the mountain against the whole nation but he stood his ground he said one with the god is the majority lift one everybody to jesus say father father you know you know, you know what amazes me please is that you know we can be the whole nation but nobody seems to be bothered by what is going on yeah right now let some of those graces and one of the issues you need to know is that the graces have no problem the issue is not the graces the reason why god is bringing the graces is because of the gap it's because of the gap because everybody wants
want to be close to the power. To do what? Which, what solution are you offering? Yeah. Even if you go to state house a hundred times, what change will it bring to your community? Even if every senator knows you in this country, what does that change in Akuru? We need to be resort oriented. Yes, sir. Yeah, resort oriented. Yes, sir. yes God told me he's going to trigger a move of lifting our battles yes, from slave battles to kingly battles. Kingly battles will not be begging, 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 begging that a politician comes, he is given one hour. Pastor like this one who have labored for this county for 30 years, he is told, lift your hand and sit down. Chaka. You go even for the funeral of a man of God, politicians will take three hours. Men of God just stand up. We recognize you. What is happening? There must be a trigger, a trigger. If it is money or influence or affluence, God is not a God of poverty. You must believe God. Money does not come because you are working. Money comes because you conquer a territory. If you don't conquer a territory, the wealth of that territory will go to the strongest altar. And I came to announce by the authority of the resurrection law, we may have struggled 10 years. We will not struggle another 10 years. Oh, you didn't hear what I've just said. We may have struggled even to build a church or to own a property. We will not struggle another 20 years. We are going to conquer territories. I must come apostle where we remove our shoes again and walk in the streets of Nakuru without fear day and night let them take us where they take us and begin to conquer time has come Shagaya. Yes. we can't allow what made people like a missionary missionary wrong die cry for God bless Kenya revive Kenya he never saw what you are seeing today, that the president is saying, praise the Lord. There is an altar in state house. To Talaumunan. Is it the devil who pray now? Is it the devil who pray? There is an altar that is praying 24 hours. 24 hours. Tuesday, I was in the stadium. Got a privilege to lead a prayer. Uh, when I went to the stadium, we got there with oh, my son here around seven minutes to eight. The first lady was on that crown, 6 a.m. Not in a VIP with the, with the, other, the wife of the, the, the DP. They are not in the view. Since it's in the Mahali. Back on one Aibu. One Aibu. One Aibu. One Aibu. Since it's in Nakula, Wakati Mutu Ambaya Akoju Hakuli. Tunajua hoteli mingi. Kuliko wenye wanafaa kuwana na hoteli. Hata wako na hoteli zao. Since it's in Nakula, hoteli mingi. A generation must rise up. A generation must rise up. Which country would that woman want to go? She would go. Which car will she drive that she want to drive? You see? But she has felt she, there is a destiny to contend for. She said, I better not eat, but I must break something in this country. Let's join the forces together. Let's believe God of heaven. We are going to defend our territories. We are going to stand and declare every corner in Akuro, Naruzi Katela, because what the church can do, the governor cannot do, the county cannot do, they can build roads, but they cannot chase the devil out of the city. They can build hospitals, but they cannot cause a revival. Rigazuka Teketa, the efforts of a governor can be reduced to nothing by a principality that holds Nakuru or holds like Kibia. I came to announce today to somebody under the sound of my voice, you are not an ordinary person. You are a move of God. I say you are a move of God. Your name is not Paul. Your name is not Mwaniki. Your name is not Pastor. Joe, no! Your name is a move in your generation. God does not take you as an ordinary person. One man entered Babylon. One man together 
now in his strength his name is Daniel he said Babylon with all your gods you must know there is a God in heaven and I came to announce to somebody in these 18 years we are here we are here to decree by the decrees of heaven a new season has come a new era has come somebody must charge your spirit even those like my family here who have labored for 40 years we will not give up I say we will not give up hatuta kubari kukufa hatuta kubari kugonjeka hatuta kubari kufinyuri Paka tuwane kizazi Kita kacho tikiza Kila territory Kita kacho tikiza biashara We are about to see people Who do business here Who will be going to America To debate with the president Because they are economic movers Lift your hands of Gaya do shata Yeah shakato Ya zadarara baba baboza Shekeri ya sata Ya gaze keketa Lift your voice and say, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, connect me again with a divine flow. Let's take our seat now. I have 15 minutes remaining. Thank you, Pastor. Let me give you a few things. I'm sorry, that's not the way I wanted us to go. But don't worry. Don't worry. Just to organize it in few words, then you pick two points from that. Then we see how we move on by the grace of God. Triggers of the help of God. The triggers of the help of God. Or what you call divine help is what I'm calling it. I told you I may take you a new, a new trajectory a bit. But uh, still pursuing in the same line. Which is very important. Every man, every church, every nation. Like now in Kenya. Every county. Every city. Every community comes to a season that they must trigger a new movement in the spirit. Write that down, never forget. If you don't trigger new moves, and I'll try to explain tomorrow, tomorrow I'll deal a bit with the issues of generation so that you understand why what you're dealing with is very, very important. Very important. Even for those who are very young children. Yeah. Very important. Then on Sunday we'll try to deal with some few prophetic moves uh, of every ministry and how to cooperate with the moves of God so that you don't miss that which God wants to do with you regardless of circumstances. So these are prophetic, three prophetic days. So let's just wait on the Lord. And uh, uh, don't worry, even if we come and we don't feel there is a syllabus to follow, we just allow the Holy Spirit to flow to us. Just open your spirit and have the right attitude and the Lord God Almighty shall bless us. So every ministry, every church, every individual, every minister of God, if you're not going to live a flat life, flat life, you, you, you have to know how to initiate and to trigger the new moves of your season and your ministry and your personal life. And if you're a businessman, the same way. Very important. I'll give you a few scriptures very quickly. Let me just try to explain a few things. So number one, what you require, just write this now, number one, what you require to trigger, especially when it comes to the moves of God, is something we call the power of access. The power of access. Access is the same way we can talk of authorization. You, you need the power of uh, access. The power of access. Now, Moredekai, um, told Esther in Esther chapter number 5 for their 5 um, and say that uh, um, who knows for a time like this now I don't know how you write notes here but if I was the one writing I would write every man will come to a place for a time like this yeah don't, don't worry well, if you don't understand it, don't worry, just get up with it. Everybody, everybody, when you're moving with God, like the servants of God here, thank God, man of God from Embu, when you're moving in the season that God is taking you, because you need to know that God does not take you nowhere. God always takes a man or a woman somewhere. And God is always on the move. 
It is important for everybody to know where are you currently with the God. You should not live an ordinary life as a believer. You see, or you come to 2023. 2023 is a calendar. It's not you. Oh yes, there are people today who are already in 2030. Oh yeah, people like Bill Gates are not even in 2030. They are 2000. If there's a, a year like that, they are moved. People are have moved. That's why you need to move your life from problem driven to purpose driven where you are seeking solution for your generation. People who seek solution never lack resources. We'll come to that because that is one of the ways actually that also to trigger them the, the, the help of God, the divine help. Very important. So the people, so now them they are not looking for money. They are not looking for more. The money they have is enough to keep them till Jesus comes. Oh yes, or until they die. It's enough. They don't need to work. But they are working more than other people. Why? Because they, they have traveled ahead. Because God thinks generationally. And if you are working with God and working with God, you must think generationally. You must plan generationally. You must pray generationally. So, a man can, can have problems. For example, let me coach them challenges. Uh, let, let me just keep on using you, sir. Don't worry. Um, and sometimes you come with your notebook here so that you write, but now keep it fast. I'll tell you when to pick it. Now, a man can face challenges here. And uh, they are working with God. Now listen to this very carefully. The challenges he may be facing are not for him. No. The challenges, because one of the issues, and I know those are some of the things that have been taught, maybe ever, elsewhere, or even in this church, that uh, there, there are many ways people get into challenges, what we call problems, I try to avoid that word. There are people who are in challenges because of your choices, decisions, because of many things. Sometimes when we ask God, where was God? God wonders. The day God gave you the Holy Spirit, you are sufficient of divinity. So if anything happens to you, never blame God. Blame your sensitivity and accuracy with the Holy Spirit. Why? We don't ask God for his will. We ask him to bless our will. So, Father, I am going to Nakuru. That's the prayer we prayed in the morning with him and Mama. Lord, we are going to Nakuru. Send your angels. Now, you will never see the presidential escort where the president is not. No. If the governor is coming here, for example, you will see some changes one hour before governor yeah governor you know when we were there on s s s s s tuesday i saw things that you know i got a privilege to sit closer somewhere there and uh, so i discovered there were people who came and positioned themselves and there was actually a commotion i was almost to get in but i discovered i could have embarrassed myself because s some people came protocol they need apostle moses to be to always to be in those meetings so and so they kept one servant of god from here somewhere then another man of god senior than him came he actually is the one who stood he was not told to stand he's the one actually who stood so now but now there's a commotion so he went and he was told to sit on a place there was a big but now these guys are trying to because that seat there was someone who was to sit on it me i thought they are preserving for another hire of spiritual authority in the city i didn't know is a security seat so somebody said good at one mutmoja kaimba na bendera hii whatever na hiyo jamaa ameka hapa kwa nini asuti tu ameka mebena hii mebena lakini hakuwa naika kitu kwa hapa so hao ni watu wa whatever anyway 
So akaona mtu ako na bendera afikia bendera yake iliweko opposite. That's why I didn't know that that thing is as serious as that. Ujamali ruka akaenda akachukua hiyo bendera na kampea yake. Hiyo akakuja naona akakuja na akaipeleka na huko. I didn't know until somebody told us it's a big crime for you to have the flag of a nation upside down. And it was fixed. See yeye alikuwa amefanya hivyo alikuwa amepewa hizi tulikuwa tunapewa za kutingiza. Those are kind of things. So now when the president came in that's the time now I saw the reality of these things. When the president came in, this two, it was here and here, and there, and the other corner. When the president came in, these guys stood up and went. Then now, the real people. <laughs> the real people. One lady tried to take as a nasha. I think she will be telling a story. And this is prayer. Who can touch you when we are praying? But anyway, that's not the issue. But the presence will show. Now, who each is this devil will wait for you at Naivasha with that heavenly escort. But because the journey was not commissioned, you ask him to send an angel. Angels only go where you are commissioned. Is that okay? So you, you can go through a challenge. That's what I wanted to explain. You can go through a challenge in life. Now, if you are in the perfect will of God, perfect will of God, you have made your choices well, you have made your decisions well, right moves well, you never moved when you are not supposed to move, like any marriage, you are like Joseph. Things are becoming tougher when you are becoming holier, if there is holy word like that. Dio mambo inakaswa. Ya yeah, mpaka unaanza kupure Mungu. You know, wewe ni mtakatifu. Unaona mtu mwingine hapo? Si mtakatifu kama wewe kulingana na wewe, lakini ame change gari. Unatoka prayer center, mambo ni magumu. Unakuta nyumba ilifungwa ukiwa prayer center. You know, those kind of things if you in the perfect will of God. That's why Joseph would stand naked as a slave and never ask a question. She, he went to the place Somebody wanted to give him favor Favor To sleep with her The wife of the big man Joseph knew This is a power To short circuit What I saw And I will not Because I never saw Potiphar's house I saw people bowing to me Until they bow I will not bow to any pressure and i came to speak to somebody here today whatever you saw even if you are worshiping outside even if you are left alone with your wife hold on to the one who called you keep on pressing on until god will come for you the challenges you are going through and that is the biggest challenge the challenge you are going through you keep on going the challenges will not be for you Maybe for the stop stand there. Come, Pastor Philip. For generations not born. Sit down, just sit. For generations not born. So now the enemy of generations have seen that generation. Have seen an international evangelist born in this lineage. Ragazoka Shakata, born in this lineage, who will come 30 years ago, I mean to come, 50 years to come, 30 years to come, he won't touch this courage, the seed carrier, the womb that will birth that woman, that servant of God, so that this man, and God forbid me that never happened, will give up and go, and this person will remain because listen to me you are alive here in akuru you are not here because of business you are here on a divine posting that you are in the church you are in you are not in that church by just it is closer to you it's by divine alignment you are calling your business your career your leadership is joined to the cluster everybody say cluster Everyone say crasta. Umeona hizi hizi grapes, zinaitwa grapes. Hizi ambazo zinatoa mfinyo. Grapes zinakuaga na na crasta. So kamuti ni kamoja, lakini ni nyingi zime 
zimehangiwa I mean, zimehangwa hiyo ka kitu kamoja ka kitu hako kamoja kakikatwa kabla hakajabeba kile kalifa kubeba hizo zilikuwa zibebwe na hako zimeisha hazitawahi nuka how many people today are drinking as somewhere married for the fourth wife because the man who was to bath them to destiny gave up when it became too hot and they decided to surrender listen to me don't think that it was easy for Moses and the I mean the mother of Moses and the father of Moses to come together as two rabbis and when they came together the bible said they gave back to a son they looked at the son they said this one is what they died for they never knew god was moving in them let me pray for somebody here may god of heaven work in you to pass the next president to pass the next do you know do you know 30 years ago 20 years ago President Ruto was sitting in a church as an ordinary member. He didn't have a million to offer. The man who can give you not even a billion if you want. He didn't have a solution to offer. But he was in a member of a church. He was in a Christian union. Kabuza. Somebody went to preach in that university, but he thought he was preaching to students. He didn't know inside the students was the president of Kenya, the fifth president of Kenya, the pastor who was in the village. He didn't know seated in the service was the first lady of some 20, 22 years to come. And they took him casually. I came to speak to everybody. What you are going through may not be because of your weakness may not because of your problem may not be your problem may be another generation that devil want to stop in between so that this one will not be born and let me tell you Ragoza Katela Gayata when they get birth they said this one we will hide him and they kept him when they could not keep him longer the flow Kagasa, the spirit of wisdom from the Lord came through them they said let's build some Thing, that we can risk this boy and put him in the river they took a risk and they built something they are building with the tears because they knew we have kept him for three months but let God do his will they did know a deliverer a mighty prophet was in their hands hey, never give up don't throw Ishmael don't throw him he is your destiny he will be remembered because he is the seed of Abraham what you carry sir is not your ministry is not your calling is his calling he called you he left other people they may not like you they may not like your color but you are called that's your security And some of you are supposed to be deliverers of finances to your family. Yeah. But you try to track, no job was coming. But because you never saw a generation to come. You never saw a generation to come. You never saw a generation to come. Yeah. I walked to school without shoes. Yeah. In the village where I was born. Walked to school. We used to live close the river when it rains and the river floods we cannot close they were there doing my man's resting and uh kapo shaketa and i walked today by god's grace people are queuing in our place to get water with a dry spell that is there god gave me a vision to open a borehole now they are they are there every mouth is blessing me why are they blessing me a mother decided to burn shako to take me to a national school and give me an exposure from the village when the headmaster gave up on me he said hey kia boy get to national school kakamega ameito national school kakamega lakini mama yake ni maskini hata hakufikiria kunisaidia lakini mama aliingia kwa chambo ya mzungu akakata miti akakata miti akashoma makaa to some one my brother elder brother is a phd holder in london by aliocha cho ili apate school fees baraton university 
Leguza Katayata. Today has become a blessing to our family. Let me tell you this, you are bigger than your clothes. You are bigger than your salary. You are bigger than your gender. You are bigger than what they call you. You are bigger than what they say about you. You are not an ordinary person. You carry four generations. Put you and your prayer in the Holy Ghost. Don't limit yourself to the clothes you wear. Don't limit yourself to the size of your church. Katuzi Katola. How many people were in the church of Mother of Moses and, 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 and the Father? Don't limit yourself to the title they have given you. An apostle is a small title. Prophet is a small title. You are bigger than a title. You are bigger than a house. You are bigger than a building. You are bigger than a nation. You carry four generations. Did you hear what I'm just saying? Don't reduce yourself to a marriage seeker. That the marriage is not coming, you quit on God. What a shallow vision of living. You are bigger than that. You're bigger. People have come from prison, put down on drugs, to become mount billionaires. Because what God put in them, the devil wanted to kill it. But God will not allow it. What you carry is so precious. Guard it without jealousy. That's why going to a house of a witch of a diviner is reducing the integrity of God in your life. Diviners are supposed to be seeking help from you. Let's not reduce Christianity to just a place of coming to church. This is more than coming to church. We are in a move. Dangerous move. That's why a house can crash. A whole building crash. People, hundreds of people die. But a child that is born who didn't have a mouth to confess and to cry, the help of God located Amen. the child and the child came alive. Yes. Why You never know what that child is. She may be the solution of a generation one time to come. You are more than a number for census. Amen. Sit down. Let's close now. I said 15 minutes. Let's close now. Wave your hand, everybody, like this. Wave. Are you here? Are you getting something, or you're just looking at this man like this? Just wave your hand like this. Say, I'm a move. Say, I'm more than a title. When you get to the house where you live, no matter how parishioned it is, do you know there are homes in this nation? Homes, houses. When you enter that house today, tell that house, I am more than you. I am bigger than you because God cannot live in you, but He lives in me. You carry a move of God. Let me give you the three other quickly, then we'll be closing up. Thank you, Philip, and the Lord bless you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Let's close up. So now, what you need, <laughs> number one is, we have said access. Did you write access? You need access. Access is what gives you the power. We call it access power to be able to be an authorized person to transact or trigger that move. So that the next move you have to step into must be triggered. So to trigger a new move, you can't do it with the past move power. You need another access. And that's what God is giving us grace before we close on Sunday. We'll talk about why every person requires training. Because only the trained can be trusted. And only the trusted can be entrusted. There are things that don't come by asking. They come by trust. There are things you can cry for eight days. That's why you see our fathers of faith, they may not pray like us, but they command results. God have walked with them and see their trust. That's why I say, if you want to know a man or a woman, see them after a crisis. The true man is known when a man is going through a crisis. After the crisis. So you can write Acts chapter number 4 right, from verse 29. You can go and read it in your own time. Um, they got the anointing of the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 2. Uh, then they went to chapter number f um, 4. Um, chapter 3. Chapter 3. Uh, verse 1. Chapter 3 verse 1. And uh, Peter and John going for prayer. They healed a crippled man. 
that was there, paralyzed, lame from mother's womb. And uh, when they, they, they did that, <laughs> Shakaya, God help me not to be able to be very personal on some of these things. When they did that, they touched a certain nerve in that territory. Because that man who was there was not a man. He was an altar and a, a principality. What I call a, a principality, it is not that the man was powerful. Because mostly those people, they are normally vulnerable to the spirit that can dominate that area. You can find a person who does not get healed, he does not get well, a mad person, even if the strongest anointing comes to the city, does not whatever, he becomes the landing point and the portal in that place for spirits to begin to in enter him and then begin to be dispelled to the neighborhood and the environment. When the man stood up and went to the temple, they triggered something. And every man of God should learn to discern when you trigger something, you must be ready to have an access for the level to deal with that kind of a thing. That's why most of us will become victims and we become, we become vulnerable to those kind of things. Why? Because you see, when they trigger that, they thought that everybody, honestly speaking, man of God, if mutu ambaya mekomo nda azimu kila mutu anamuchua, ah, area kwen umemponya na amekuwa msawa na ameenda kanisa you would expect people even to come and thank you even bring you gift you would expect your church to double oh yeah but when they did that that is when the issue rose up a meeting was called to discuss that issue honestly speaking really because they have touched a place. My prayer is this. We have gone three years. 2020, 21. We are now 23. This year, 2023, is a foundation year for the next seven years. Because everybody, now, now, <laughs> now, um, Tunisaidia bishop vile nitareka hii kitu. Mana nataka kusema iti yangu ama niseme yake. Na kama atakwaswa. Sasa ukiongeza miaka saba kwa miaka yako. Mimi nikona 55. July hii. Naigia 55. July hii. Sasa ukiongeza saba kwa 55 ni ngapi? 62. Now new bad waki celebrate miaka ingine kumina nane nitakuwa na miaka ngapi? That is the way you need to look at. If you are 50 by 2020, by 2030, you'll be 60. Everybody, everybody, I'm not saying kira mutu, kira muiri, ukona tea and wear. Joshua 13 verse 1, write it down. Joshua, you are stricken with the age, and there still remains too much land to be taken. You have the dream and the vision to build a city, but you don't have the strength, even if the resources are there. That's why there is an anointing man of God called on time anointing. What did I say? Lay your hand here. Say, Lord, Lord this year of the help of God, I desire on time anointing. I prophesy to somebody here, you will marry on time, get children on time, start your ministry on time, build your permanent house on time. Mazaka Toseketa, Yoruga Zeke. You will heal your cripples on time. You will take your territory on time. Regadoza. Mazuka Parogezeka. Did you hear what I've just 
said in 52 days the wall of Jerusalem was completed why because on time anointing on time anointing on time anointing you will not build your rentals at a hundred I say you will not build your rentals at a hundred I wish young people here and take this seriously you will not be doing your PhD with your grandchildren on time anointing on time anointing on time anointing you will not travel out of the country when you are 80 on time anointing I say on time anointing on time anointing did you hear what I've just said so every one of us must believe God this year for right moves right choices right decisions and right people in your life oh yeah that's very important very important sit down God bless you let's finish and the Lord bless you what time did you say okay we'll finish and this one is real is that okay or I wave your hand like this praise God allow me just to mix up those few things together so that when we release the prophetic it will be easier for you to understand is that okay so that you can have a substance on where to hold on which is uh, very important <laughs> now it took long don't write this this is just something that will come in my spirit it took long for Joseph to get to the place the way of God may take long but when it comes it comes with the grace of speed slave prison in the morning prime minister in the afternoon it is not kurush kishwa ni process iyo yote ya kurukisha that's on akutaka professional professional i don't know whether here there is somebody who is an accountant accountant donadina pesa oh you are like okay yeah Oh, Beth. Okay, now when Beth sits on a uh, balancing balance sheet and uh, those kind of things, to her she will be doing that smiling and praying in tongues. Now give Pastor John. Ati anaskia mutu anashinda anatoka ofisi saa nane akikunywa kahawa akitafuta shilingi. Shilingi. Hata nilikuwa nimeambia Joshua siku moja, si uchukue shilingi weke. Unaweza kosa shilingi. Chilingi ni unatafuta kwa vitabu Hata si chilingi ya kuchika Ni chilingi ya mutu muzima An Chartered accountant Anatafuta chilingi moja Ili balance yes, Si uchukwe chilingi yako uweke <laughs> Yeah Is it too high Is an easy thing Wewe ukipewa Wewe unona two figure Hata uneza uliza ni gani ya kubeba Because wewe unona two figure Na ye na ya kingia kwa mjengo Kama sasa already ya mesavei nyumba yote Ya meza kuambia ni ya pesa ngapi when something is done by professionals it will look easy yeah. when you see a professional swimmer like apostle your father swimming you say ah who cannot swim <laughs> who cannot swim don't try i tried one time because i felt embarrassed when children are swimming and i was nilikuwa nimeanza na nilikuwa na swim ile village ya muto ile muto you know those kind of things si kujua muto ni tofauti na swimming pool so sasa Sasa mimi nilikuwa nimeenda mapema uh, because kuna mtu alikuwa ananifunza so watoto wakakuja wa shule hapo here Sasa sasa wakaanza kuruka na nikasema ah kuruka hapa Yeah Rona me jump jump daddy jump nikaruka kwanza upande wa depend Well siku za mama ana hata size siwezi zama the issue is vile niliangukia maji na hapa pa it took a month pain Una, una, una pick a deep hit. That's the time I discovered it is easy for them. Now, Joseph, the process makes it easier. Ukijirukisha, you miss what you're supposed to do. Follow the process. The Lord shall help you. Number one, power of access. Write that down, and the Lord bless you. Number two, 
power of access. The access is to give you power to trigger the new move to get to the other place. That is Acts chapter number 4 verse 29. Light us quickly. We'll pray to pick them another day as God will give us. But tomorrow we still have a new thing we need to press on as the Lord give us grace. There's something I feel tomorrow we have to deal with. Very important. Very important. Very important. A prophetic thing that I just felt in my spirit. All of us need to deal with next week for generations to come which is very important. Number two, just write quickly, I'm sitting down now. Um, number two, that we are talking of triggers of divine help. Number two is the Holy Spirit. 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 Number three, I thought we'll get time to deal a lot with that, but for now, let's not get to that direction, which is very, very important. Now, everybody, let me just say three things on that very quickly um, about the Holy Spirit, which is very important. Uh, there is nobody that can function effectively in destiny without the help of the Holy Spirit, who is the helper. When he comes, the Holy Spirit, he will be your helper. There is nobody who can function effectively without the ministry of the helper. Psalms 121, David said, where will my help come from? The address of divine help is the Holy Spirit. The address of divine help is the Holy Spirit. The greatest investment of God in your life is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one that lifts you from ordinary life, natural life, to the supernatural life. Human help. Occultic or diabolic help. Please listen to this because I want to emphasize something on that. Then a mixture. Those are three now. Human help. Diabolic help. Mixture of the two above. Then there is the help of your talents and natural endowments. There are people who are naturally endowed to certain things. They have that power or that strength. Help can be able to help them. There are people that are eloquent. There are people who know how to package themselves. There are people who can speak even if they are con men. You give them money. You wonder how did you give them money? It's the way they spoke to you. They appeal to your heart. So that thing can be combined with the demonic. It is a mixture of it and the mixture of the human help. Somebody can help you through diabolic help. Now then there is what we call the divine help. The divine help. The highest help. Listen because I want to conclude with this. I may not go to the next one I need to give you. Let me conclude with this. Very important for all of us to understand. And I pray to the Lord that all the fathers who are here and the servants of God who are here, we're going to take this very seriously, all of us, beginning with myself. Why? Everybody that was distinguished and was different from any other person in the Old Testament accessed the Holy Spirit. It was not the dressing, come sir, it was not the dressing that made them different. Like the way he's dressing differently from the way I'm dressing. What made them different is not the title, it's not their location, it's not their tribe. Whether they are from Issachar, whether they are from Judah, what made the distinction between them? What separated them? What made a man above the others? was no status it was the involvement of divinity and the deposition or the visitation the hand 
of the Lord upon the man and the spirit of God would come now we start from uh, Joseph quickly please from Joseph now Joseph is in prison and uh, he there are two friends or colleagues you know, people they met in prison and uh, the two of them had a dream and Joseph with the endowment and the gift of, of interpreting of dreams interprets the dream of these two people it happened as it was it was detailed, it was told to them one was hurt the other one was restored now Joseph is in prison now the difference with these three people is not the uniform is not where they came from is not their rank is not their status it is the involvement of divinity because everybody here and we have theologians here and scholars who are here they will tell you there are many people who lived in the time of Abraham true or false why are they not recorded in the Bible because according to heaven heaven had nothing to do with them because the interest of heaven is the purpose of heaven on earth that's why the church is critical that's why you as a believer you are critical because you are in the center you are in the center there are people today that are meeting the president daily they don't need an appointment there are people the president calls daily even now that he is out of the country there are people he cannot see before he calls why they are in the center of his interest and his kingdom here in Kenya Kaboshata. so any man Joseph was not a prisoner he was an ambassador of God in Egypt to be a savior to fulfill the prophecy of, of Abraham that was given to Abraham after 400 years God is still working a prophecy Ragazoko Shata Katoza somebody here God is working in you to fulfill a prophecy in the county government 20 years to come you look yourself ordinary you see yourself as a normal person but God is still following a prophet a prophecy God is still pursuing a prophecy because Prophecy Prophecy is the word that came from the mouth of God and released and the Bible says that there is no word that proceeds from the mouth of God that shall return to him void before it fulfills what was done. Nakuru is waiting for a man to begin to manifest. Nakuru is waiting for a man to fulfill feel a prophecy then it will be said like a when I got the slight opportunity because God told me that uh, in the beginning of this year and I said it in church and people thought because in our church I tell I know I told them I go out a man that carries a prophetic grace in the church on Sunday I'm your pastor that's why we have a time even when Apostle was here the other day and we were truly blessed um, we had time to greet each other and those are the kind of things and at times I don't vibrate the way I vibrate all the time. I talk to them as a pastor. So people thought I'm joking. I told them I just feel in my spirit. God is going to give me a chance with the president. And I'm going to pray for the president. The day he was being in, inaugurated as the president or whatever, swearing in. Um, I was not in the program. But God is still working the prophecy. There is a, a, a radio station in our place. The guy, Musa. Uh, yeah, Musa <laughs> like here. He called me and told me before the president is inaugurated, we decided you are going to pray through our radio station to everybody in Kikuyu. So that he said, I said it's working. So I came and testified. Tell your neighbor your next miracle, miracle. is in the testimony you did not give. So what were you come and I told you, Meombia president. What about is that? Don't worry, Nimeombia president. Then the president came for the meeting, they came in the Fairmont. You remember that time? Yes. Um, so they came, all the government, they came to do the conference they did in Mount Kenya in Anyuki. Then I got a call from the chaplain. He said that uh, you have been appointed to go and lead prayer. President have said a man of God in the county must pray before he said. And so we, we have been given your name. I said I'm more than ready. So I. 
ile kitu si kufanya mzuri tu ni protocol kwa sababu nili to drive mimi na another man of god na mimi ndiye nenda kuomba so tulipofika tunafanywa tu hivi bakuja huyu ni kusherewa alisherewa tukafanywa hivi na niona nilikuwa nimeambiwa you can't get it so mimi sita cherewecho na driver because hiyo opportunity ya kuomba so tukafanywa hivi na so nimebeba bishop minor bishop minor was not even actually officially dressed lakini niona let me go with the father in the city yes, yeah just for the honor purposes so we went tukafanywa hivi na afika kuche so mimi nikataa kupaka hakukwa mahali ya kupaka so nikaambia no 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 nikakuja mpaka mahali wakubwa walikuwa natokezea so nikamuuliza so bishop akafungua kio nikawauliza where to park anaambia no 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 you can't ask that wewe goja mkubwa atoke wende uka enda ukatafute parking aje that's what i was told ni mimi ni nika tafute parking so bishop alicheka because bishop sasa kuna kitu ya kubeba akabeba ipadi yangu sasa sasa yeye akaingizwa akaingizwa sasa mimi nikaenda kutafuta park hakuna parking kumecha so what happened is this <laughs> so wakati nikienda askari moja akaniona ananijua na nyuki so akaniona hawa askari sasa tu polisi wa nguo uniform wa whatever akaniambia kambi sasa mimi niambie nenda park na mimi ndio kuomba akaniambia parking iko mbali ya magari zingine sasa hii area yote iwezi park so lakini akaniambia lakini wewe wakaniingizia ma actually there was no parking there because niingiziwa kwa room ni park hapo so nikatoka nikaenda of course by the time i was getting there i found kina mina dstv ule jamaa mko naye kwa gym so yeye yeah, ndio alikuwa hapo na so anyway i got in so when i got in i'm ready for prayer you see how things can work against you <laughs> so tumekaa tumegojea tumegojea tukaona kiti ya president na ya deputy zimetolewa ndio kumesemekana hawakuji nimesema sasa cabinet prime cabinet aongoze mkutano nikasema god you didn't say cabinet minister you say president because sasa mahali podium yangu ilikuwa ya kumuombea ilikuwa hapa na yeye alikuwa anakaa hapa sasa alikuwa anajua kutakuwa na waves so anyway don't worry i want to show you something that is very powerful then now uh, tukaenda tukafanya maombi of course niliomba when i prayed kwa nanyuki i felt in my spirit it is not this one of nanyuki this nanyuki there is no way i could not have prayed really even if it's to acha i could have achat because it was for pastors another occasion that is now when i got this opportunity yes. do you know in the program there were shifted things things shifted other things were cut off when the president came but they said you and you and you must pray let me tell somebody here by the grace of god prophecy will never die there is a word you carry don't allow the devil to delay you even if it will take 30 years after what what wafunge milango if they said you will work with the international organization in un no matter what will happen god will give you an access where others who are denied you will be allowed to come in i pray in the name of jesus the son of the living god you are a prophecy going somewhere to manifest there is a big things of god in you did you or just put your hand here everybody say i am a mover of god in my generation say i carry a prophetic word what distinguishes men why would a king with all the chariots of fire Send or chariots of horses of battle. Send not to go to war without a prophet who does not have a gun, who does not have a weapon, because of the hand of Jehovah upon him. I came to declare 2023 to 2030. Let us go back to the supernatural power. Let us go back to the hand of Jehovah. My name and the hand of God on me, the Holy Ghost. And I came to announce and to declare with all the fathers of the gospel here, I decree in the name of Jesus, let the new mover of the Holy Ghost be initiated this season. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, let the new mover, we cannot be natural again, we cannot be ordinary again. There is something, the 
about is looking for there is something more than decoration more than our dressing there is something the world is looking for what was came upon samson is what we need what distinguished joseph is what we need what distinguished daniel is what we need what distinguished peter is what we need what distinguished jeremiah is what we need what distinguished the judges is what we need I came to prophesy and to speak to the four corners of Nakuru County and the entire of Rift Valley. We came to trigger a new mover. Dr. Emily, we came to trigger a new mover. We came to, de to de trigger a new mover. The flow must start again. I said the flow must start again. I said the flow must start again. Something must be born in our generation I said something must be born we need the compelling power the compelling force that attracts a generation that pulls a generation lift you and I pray in the Holy Ghost as I welcome God's servant lift you and I pray in the Holy Ghost pray 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 in the Holy Ghost pray in the Holy Ghost pray 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 Shakaragagagagayata Regezeketegeta Pray in the Holy Ghost Pray 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 in the Holy Ghost Pray 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 in the Holy Ghost Ragazagadagadagadagayata Rupagate seta Yagazagadekete Shakatiyara soto Yoropatekata Father Your church cannot be natural Your church cannot Jesus fool Of ordinary men Father Raise a new mover We came to trigger a new mover we came to trigger a new mover right from the count of nakuru we came to declare this is the time this is the hour something must happen i say something must happen something must happen let something land on us, O oh God. Let something land on us. Uh. Land on us, O oh God. Land on us, O oh Jehovah. Beyond our ability. Beyond our help. Beyond our help. We desire the help of God. We desire Riga Zukatela. Divine help. Divine strategy. Divine wisdom. Divine power. Let it come upon our lives in Akuro. Everybody the sound of my voice online on ground receive like receive an impartation receive an impartation let there be a flow of the prophetic let your ears open 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 may you hear the voice of god again again change the story shine the story shine the story shine the story shine the story our people will be dying by chicken we said no Tanks of fire, tanks of fire, tanks of fire, tanks of fire, tanks of fire. Shakara bagaboya, rupa gaya teke teke ta. Somebody pray, pray, pray. Shadare bosa, yagata gata gaya tela. Refire the church, empower the church. Where will my help come from? My help come from the Holy Ghost. Come from the Lord. Jeta katosa. Rupa gaza 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 Shaka taka yata Shaka raga baga baya Yerebo 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 sherebo shata Shaka raga baba bos Yagata gata ga Shaka raga zaketa Receive the fire sir Receive the fire sir Fire of the Holy Ghost Fire 
of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Everybody begin to drink. Begin to take the Holy Ghost. Take him. I am a Let cancer try. Let fibroids die. Let poverty die. We silence now. Ancestral altars. We cast them now. Holy Ghost. 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 Go behind. Go behind. It doesn't matter if this a lady. Kata kata gayata. Rapa gayata. Let the Holy Ghost come. Take a new eta. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Karabosha. Shagaya bosha. Yerabosh. 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 Y